All right guys, so we're gearing up to tackle a very common project around the house. Got a set of cellar doors that though from the outside look okay, when you open them up, you could really see that rust is starting to bleed through, the existing coating is failing, and there's some metal that needs to be cut out and replaced. So game plan, we're gonna use the angle grinder at the cutoff wheel, cut out this existing rib, put in a patch panel, weld it in, blend it, it's gonna look great, and then we'll address the coating. So let's dive in and get this metal out of here. All right, from here to here, cut this out, replace it. All right, so at this point, we cut out the main rib that we were gonna address. Um, ended up taking the door off the hinges entirely, which made it really easy to access this work area. And uh, while I was at it, I noticed that these bottom sections were also fairly gooned up. So while I was at it, cut them out. So at this point, the metal is prepped, hit the angle grinder to it, took off most of the, uh, the paint so that we can get a good weld. So at this point, I already have these two parts one and two cut out. I'm gonna weld them in, blend it, and then once that is a nice surface, then I'll tackle this longer kind of vertical rib. So that's the plan. We'll see if it goes that way. Let's get to it.
All right, guys, so at this point, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. We got a new metal in there, it's super sturdy, ground some of the welds down. You know, I'm not the best fabricator, but for a home DIY job, I'll take it. So uh, next step is, while the door's off, I'm gonna take the SET to them and start knocking off all that chipped uh, paint and coating and prep it so we can apply the rust encapsulator plus. So part one, down, next task. All right, so metal fab's taken care of, moving on to the next step. We gotta tackle the existing coating, get as much of it off of the doors and the assembly as we can, and then coat it with Rust Encapsulator Plus. To strip it, I'm gonna use the SCT and try out a handful of different drums, including some of our new narrow face drums to really get into the nooks and crannies and get this thing down as close as we can to bare metal. So we'll fire it up and we'll dive right in. All right, so at this stage, metal fab's done, metal's prepped, and it's time to apply the coating. We've got Rust Encapsulator Plus that'll really lock in the rust moving forward. So at this point, all I need to do is spray and wipe everything down with some pre-paint prep, get some final dust or any grease off the surface, and I should be ready to apply. Now, for application, there's three methods you can use. You can use a sprayer, you can roll it on, or you can brush it on. Right here I've got some brushes and a roller, so that's gonna be the method I use to apply. So with everything off, easy access, should go by pretty smoothly, let's dive in. So there you have it, she's all wrapped up. Structurally sound and protected for years to come from rust. This is a real simple project at home with relatively minimum supplies available to any DIYer. For more information on the products we use today, hit the link and visit eastwood.com.